Hey guys, Mike here with EverythingAboutConcrete.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how we pour and finish a concrete patio slab. So hang out, make sure you hang out till the end of the video so you can see how we finish this thing. We're going to apply a light broom finish to this patio so when it's all done, it'll be broomed and edged. Now you can see here we're using a pump truck to get the concrete to where we need it. We couldn't reach this right from the back of a concrete truck. And we're pouring a 4,000 PSI concrete with uh, microfiber in the concrete for a reinforcement. Plus it's got that rebar in it as you can see. And I always use a water reducer in my concrete. So that allows me to pour a little bit looser slump to make it easier pouring. But it doesn't affect the integrity of the strength of the concrete. So the water reducer is put right in at the concrete plant when the guy batches the concrete. And we just ask for that extra and it just means we don't have to use as much water in the concrete to get a nice easy pouring slump. So what we like to do is we like to get quite a bit of the concrete poured out before we start screeding and we're using that that red uh, chalk line to go to on the foundation wall as our grade in the top of the forms as our grade on the outside and what happens is when we set this up we sloped this patio away from the house about an inch and a half so the concrete's going to have an inch and a half slope to shed water now what i'm doing there is you can see i, I used a, my pencil my dewalt pencil vibrator to vibrate the edges so when we strip those forms the concrete will be nice and smooth and i use that thing for almost anything that we do with concrete to make sure the forms you know are smooth the edges are smooth when we strip forms so I'd, I highly recommend that. I'll have a link for that down in the description. And now you can see I'm just mag floating the edges with my mag. I like to make sure my mag, uh, my edges are really nice and clean and smooth before we start screeding. Now you can see me using that pencil vibrator. That thing works really, really good. And it's, it's lightweight. You know, you just use your battery, DeWalt battery, and uh, you can carry it around with you anywhere. Now Luke was mag floating the edges on the inside and you can see we're going to start screeding here real quick and we'll we'll stop pulling this down. We're going to leave a little bit of a what I call a hole back there in that corner. We don't want to completely fill it up in case we're high. So this is how we screed it. You know we got one guy on the top of the form and then one guy on the inside screeding off a, what we call a wet pad and we just kick in our our footprints as we screed so we call this kick screeding now you don't have to screed this way you can just pull the screed two or three times stop set back fill in your footprints and then pull it that way uh, which is probably how most people are going to do it if they don't know how to kick screed like we do but or you could do it the way we're doing it you could try doing it our way now I'm bull floating the slab and the bull float pushes down, you know, the aggregate and the concrete brings up some of the paste and is going to make the patio slab just a little bit easier to finish than if we just left it screeded like that. So we always bull float after we screed. And you can see it's pretty easy to bull float. And with the right slump, you, pr you only need to go up and back usually just once to do that right. We like those rounded edge bull floats too. They don't leave many lines on the ends versus the square edge ones. So we got this thing almost poured. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you real quick here how we how we finish this thing, how we put a nice broom finish on it. Now I'm magging out my edges, making sure they're nice and smooth, taking out any of the little bull float marks I left when I when I picked up the bull float. And then we're gonna let this thing dry. So we started pouring this thing at 6.30 in the morning. You can see we also did the concrete floor with it too, up above. But the patio slab's been sitting here for about an hour and a half, two hours after we got it poured. So now it's about ready to start finishing. And what Darren's doing is he's he's using an edger and he's rounding off that edge with the edger to make, make that edge look a little bit better and also help strengthen it so it's not a sharp edge. It, it'll be less apt to break off so he's just running that edger up against the form before the concrete gets too firm just going back and forth nice and light we like using those little brass edgers just to leave the you can see how it leaves a nice curved clean edge up against the form 
And now what we're doing is we're mag floating the surface. And, uh, and what the reason we do this is just to, just to make the surface a little bit nicer for the broom finish. Uh, mag out the bull float lines, fill in any little divots or rock holes the bull float didn't get. Just to make the surface a little bit finer so the broom finish looks a little bit nicer. You can see I'm using those those metal skids to get on the concrete. Now you could use a what we call a funny float and I'll have a, a video pop up here right up top that'll show you what that is and how we use that. And I'll also have a video at the end of this video that you can watch that'll show you how to use a funny float and how to mag concrete also. But this is one of the steps that we always do before we apply a broom finish is we'll get on the concrete and we'll mag out the whole surface. Um, and, and sometimes, sometimes we got to do it twice, depending on you know how the concrete's drying, if it's cloudy out, or or whatever's going on that day. I mean, concrete dries based on temperature, based on what kind of mix you have, um, what type of additives you put in the concrete. So sometimes we'll have to get on it and mag float it out twice. And you could you could use a Fresno too if you know what a Fresno is. Um, you could Fresno this and then do a broom finish, but for us, we generally like to get on it like this and mag it out by hand. Doesn't really take that long, it's pretty fast. Especially if you can mag with both hands like I do. <laughs> so we got this magged out and what we determined on this one is, you know, we needed to let it sit for a few minutes longer before we started brooming it. So we're just gonna get it magged out here real quick and get it prepped for the broom finish but we're not going to broom it yet. Now you can see I got back on it again. We'll probably let it sit for a half an hour. Then I got on it again and I'm just lightly magging it out before we broom it again. Otherwise, if I had just broomed it after that first time, the concrete had still a little too much moisture on the surface than I liked and I, I wouldn't have been real happy with the broom finish. So we decided to let it sit a little longer, get a little firmer and I'm just going to mag out the surface again. Now right here, if you uh, you could use a tool called a Fresno and just lightly Fresno it instead of doing what I'm doing and that would basically do the same thing that would just uh, you know smoothen out the surface a little bit more make the paste a little bit finer and give you a real nice fine broom finish but you can see how Luke is he's, 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 he's pulling that broom back nice and slow and easy without stopping without um, making any type of uh, slanted marks in it because it'll show anything you do will show in the broom finish after so you want to make sure you set it down nice and light pull it back nice and straight without stopping and then he'll do a couple passes two or three passes and then he'll clean the paste out of the broom with that water because if you let the paste build up then the broom the broom marks don't look as nice you can see we're just taking it nice and slow. You can see Darren up there on, on the floor. He's starting to mag the edges for that concrete floor up there. But this this is basically how you pour and how you finish a concrete patio with a broom finish. So it's just a matter of pouring it, getting it screeded, bowl floating it, letting it sit until it's firm enough to get on and then do your finishing process. And for us, like I said, the finishing process is we edge the edges with that edger we mag float the surface at least once, sometimes twice if we have to. And then we run the broom over it nice and lightly. And you can see I'm, I've got a little hand broom with me and I'm just touching up that inside edge with the hand broom as I go along just to make sure it has a complete broom finish all the way up to that concrete wall. So I'm gonna finish mag floating that and get off it and then Luke's going to finish with the broom finish here and then my other guy Eric there is going to put the finish tool mock on it with that edger and that's that's how we finish this thing. Now we did come back the next day and we sawed a couple uh, expansion contraction joints in this just to help control any uh, shrinkage cracks that may occur later on but this is how it goes and you know if you guys want to learn how to do this um, I got a link down in the description of the YouTube video where you can you can leave your email sign up for that email and I got a program coming out where I'm going to teach you guys how to do all this 
if you want to start your own business, I would definitely sign up for that email because that's that's basically what that program is going to be about, how, how to start your own business just like I have. I'll walk you through all the steps and, and you you can uh, forget about, <laughs> hopefully forget about all the mistakes I made and uh, that'll help you out a lot. So thanks for watching.